Hi guys, it's Dinosaur Fred, and it's time for another Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy! So, last time around, I think we did something in the something galaxy, and what, what exactly did we do? We did... <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Um, we did something in one of these... Uh, okay, let's see. Ah, we did stuff in the engine room, I believe. We... Yes, and then I think we did something in the... Oh yeah, we went to Toy Time Galaxy, that was it. <laughs> I forgot, it's been like a week since I recorded. Um, but yes, we went to Toy Time Galaxy, and uh, we went ahead and did some stuff there, and that was uh, pretty amazing in itself. So, now we can, uh, I guess, continue going on in the engine room about some crazy stuff that I don't even know what we're gonna do. So anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see, Let, let's make a stop at... Yeah, let's make a stop at Toy Time. Why not, why not? There was a secret star that we needed to go ahead and get and I do want to get rid of it because it's a secret star I don't particularly like. So uh, basically you gotta select the second star, Mario meets Mario and you can go ahead and get yourself a secret star here because that's where secret stars live. Inside other stars. <laughs> That'd be kind of crazy if that was kind of a law of, of like, galaxies in general. Or, or, or just a law of, um... You know, just a law of our general universe. Like, there's actual stars inside stars. That'd be crazy. Like, there's there, there would be a star inside of our own sun. And that would be nuts, because that would be a really tiny star. Because, you know, the sun is actually a, uh, a relatively small star, from my understanding. It's not... It's not enormous, but it's not its not too small. It's just like kind of on the smaller side of things because there are smaller stars in the sun, but um, anyways, go ahead and fly over here because uh, over here, obviously, this is where the party is at. This is where all the party happens in Mario Galaxy and Toy Time Galaxy and such. So now we can go ahead and there was a Luma here earlier. Yeah, it's right there. Hi, Luma. I gotta talk to the Luma. Hey, you, yeah, you get me tasty star bits. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 50 star bits to curb the hunger pains. Uh, or pangs, not pains. Dang it. You're at a weird angle. Now we steadily feed this hungry Luma. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. Of course, this crazy Luma has to transform into a crazy obstacle course. I like how these Lumas can transform into any, basically anything they want, but they turn into like weird stuff. Like some turn into plants, but this one obviously turned into a bunch of toys, which is kind of weird. Uh, but the gimmick of this is you gotta hit all these things and make them turn yellow. And I don't like this one in particular just because these things can kill you instantly and you will have to start over if that's the case. And, that, you know, starting over is never the nicest case in the world. But the cool thing about it is the gravity. You can gravitate towards any place you would like. And uh, I don't know what these things are called, actually. Uh, they kind of remind me of the, tox bo the toxic boxes in Mario 64. And I think they are relative ones, so that's kind of neat. But we gotta go ahead and get the stuff here before we go onto this platform, which is kind of cool. You actually make a long jump over there, uh, and gravity kind of handles itself, which is pretty cool. Now we just let gravity handle it itself. Or not. Or not. Maybe that wasn't the entry point. I, I am not exactly figuring out the goodness. There we go. That's where the entry point is. Now we gotta be a boss here. I'd be a total boss and avoid this guy like a crazy man. Uh-oh. Alright, you do your thing, Mr. Toxbox. Can we... Okay. Go back, man! I need to step on this thing. I need to step on it. That's, that's been my life's ambition to step on weird things that you have been rolling over. I was about to say stepping over, but that isn't exactly the right verb. This thing doesn't have legs. How can it step on things? Darn it! I don't like you, computer chips. Is that the last of it? No, that wasn't. Okay. Long jump here. Where, where is the last one? Very good question. Very good question. I think it's on the other side of everything. Like over here. I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out because I'm a smart person. I am a very smart person. By the way, I got Mario Kart 8 the other day, and that game is fantastic. I gotta say, 
Nintendo really outdid themselves. I read some of the reviews initially before getting Mario Kart 8, and I was thinking to myself, you know, it doesn't sound too great. Because generally, like, when there's a bunch of reviews, I, I do like to take in consideration a lot of the negative reviews. And some of the negative reviews say it's, like, really repetitive or, like, it just doesn't have the charm of the old Mario Karts or something like that. And they didn't like some mechanics. You know, I really took that to heart. But when I played it, wow, was it an awesome game. So, usually I take into consideration a lot of the, um... A lot of the other reviews on it, but Mar uh, Mario Kart 8 is a fantastic game. I, I really enjoy it, and especially of the new meme that's been popping up around the internet lately. The, uh, <laughs> the, the uh, Death Stare Luigi. That thing is gosh darn hilarious. But anyways, we got the star here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, we got the hidden star from the Flitch Switch Chain... Toy type gal- yeah. Yeah! Problem with this galaxy that I don't like is you actually have to go back into that galaxy to do a comet on the exact same thing. So, it's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying, but let's go ahead and- yeah, there it is. There's that stupid comet. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's fly to this galaxy with the utmost grace. That's what we do. Alright, so this is a Fast Foe Comet. I don't think we've ever bumped into a Fast Foe Comet yet, but this is our first time, guys. We're gonna have to do it correctly. We're gonna die really quickly, because um, basically what happens is that the foes move twice as fast, and most of these stars are gathered around the Toxic Box enemy right here. Um, it's usually revolving around them and Thwomps. And it can get really annoying, as you can see. This is why I don't like the stars, mainly because the memory of this Fast Foe thing but other than that i guess it's not too bad this whole star but yeah mainly i don't like this fast flow thing just because you can die and you have to start over and it's really annoying and i don't like starting over yeah i don't think anyone does actually unless you start over and you like turn over a new leaf and like by that i'm like okay congratulations you know have a nice life and such but we're not turning over a new leaf we're going around a giant toy with lots of gravity and we need to rescue the star <laughs> are we rescuing these things or are we finding them i don't i don't exactly know because i know power stars are supposed to be like lumas or something like they're supposed to be um darn it, i gotta go this way just, just to be safe wait no that's the smashing round right, i just gotta run then ah see that's what i mean <laughs> that's what i mean this 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 place sucks <laughs> All right, now that I just got the three over there, uh, we can uh, finally make our way through this to this crazy land. Um, crazy land aside, we gotta we gotta do this right. Ah, ah! All right, we did it right. All right, bye, Tox Box. I don't like your face. I don't think anyone does. You have like multiple faces, and like nobody likes any of them because you're such a dork these days. Hey, these computer chips move faster. They got an upgrade, guys. CPU has been overclocked, and now they're gonna kill you with their increased speed of killing power. And that is generally not a nice thing like that. Like, you know, increased killing power, despite being able to transport us very quickly somewhere, it is not exactly the best thing. Especially when they have sharp step, 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 step. Sharp, stabby sides like that. And I am gonna die, aren't I? I was doing so well. The, uh, not speed run. Ah! There we go. Okay, now we're good. We're good. We're not hurt anymore. Now we gotta watch out. Oh, wait, no. It's another one of these. Okay. This one's okay. This is okay. Computer chips are not as harmful. Yay! We got it. We got it, guys. I better nail that star on my first go. Do they stop? Oh, no. They don't stop. At least I can, uh, go around these guys now. No, I don't have to... I don't have to talk to you, I don't have to, you know, it's kind of like seeing your worst enemy from school and not having to greet him. It's it's quite nice, you know. Quite nice. Let's go ahead and uh, get this frickin' star. Yes, ah! This is one of my least favorite stars in the game. Alrighty, the fast foes of Toy Time Galaxy. We got a high score updated and our... We just discovered a new galaxy. Oh, boy. 
Oh, is this the cool one? Oh, wait, no. We have discovered any base in the region. We can only hope they're not misusing the Power Star. Or the Grand Star, not the Power Star. Grand Star, that's even more grand, you know. Grandiose, grandiose. So let's go ahead and take care of this uh, nuisance. It's another Bowser galaxy. Who would have known? Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor. I wonder what kind of uh, reactor this place has. I don't know, guys. Like, it probably doesn't have lava in it, because that's just impossible, you know. Uh, King Caliente's spicy return. By the way, uh, if you guys don't remember who King Caliente was, he was an octopus boss. Yes. And apparently he's, like, spicy now. They started cooking him with some cayenne peppers and some, uh, uh, ghost peppers or habaneros or something. I don't know. He's, like, super spicy now. And we have to embrace the flavor of Caliente. By the way, it's kind of funny. This game is actually, uh, you know, made by Japanese people. You know, obviously Mario, Nintendo, that's all Japanese, but... If you guys ever eat really, like, like just normal Japanese food in general, Japanese food is not exactly spicy, or at least in my opinion, you know? In comparison to other Asian cuisines like Korean or Thai, uh, Japanese food is not terribly spicy, which, you know, I find funny. Um, I don't know why I find that funny, because I always associate, or I, I tend to associate Asian food with spicy, because, you know, some Chinese food can be extremely spicy, as well as Korean food. Um, and, it, you know, especially Thai food. Thai food is extremely spicy, but um, Japanese food seems to be the uh, black sheep of them all, which uh, they're not terribly spicy. You know? But spicy ramen is quite good. I love my ramen, and I love... Yeah, I, I, I like Japanese food. It, it is fantastic. You guys should... If you guys don't eat Japanese food, you guys should eat it. Like, right now. Right now, while you're watching this. Cook some ramen. Make some sushi, I don't know. Yay, hello. If I give up any more power or grand stars, my dad's gonna get mad. So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. That's your weapon? An octopus? I thought it would be like some super mega robot Bowser Jr. of Doom, because you seem to be really good at building those things. Uh, especially in Super Mario Sunshine and, um, spoiler alert, in Mario Galaxy 2 as well, but Mario Galaxy 2 doesn't seem to be really connected to this game. Uh, most of, uh we gotta play tennis with you. By the way, this is another easy boss. <laughs> it's just King Caliente with more lava. It's not terribly difficult. He does look a lot cooler, though, I gotta say, with the red eyes and, uh, the little twirly thing on his head. I don't know, it's like bouncing, kind of weirdly. Ah! Ah! Hot, 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 lava, hot, lava. Oh no, he's mad. He's gonna puke more stuff at me and then there's gonna be comets everywhere. That's not good. King Caliente, I demand you... I demand tariffs on the comets. Or, I'm gonna boycott the comets. Yes, that's right. How dare you put tariffs on... Or, not tariffs. Or, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I saw the word tariff today and I decided to use it. But apparently when I was using it, I hardly knew what the word meant. <laughs> it means, I think it means like taxes on incoming imports or something, but I have no idea why I would be using it in this silly cast, you know. But anyways, look at what we got here. We got another Grand Star. How grand is that? Get it, guys? Because it's the Grand Stars. I'm the best at making terrible jokes, by the way. But <laughs> anyways, back to the observatory. What's hotter than a blue star? I don't know, maybe a bigger blue star? Ha! I was right, it's a bigger blue star. That's kind of whitish, but it's kind of cool. So now we open a new area called the Garden, I believe. It's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool area, that's the Garden. It's the very tip top of the observatory. Yay, we got a star, King Caliente's spicy return. Yay! Okay. We just started covering a new galaxy in the garden. Mom. Now that we've recovered so many grand stars, the beacon is almost too bright to look at. Gosh, you guys should really put a shield around that. Like, you designed it to be that bright, but... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Once the observatory works as a starship again, we can bring you to the center of the universe. Then we can get, your uh, get you to your special one. We just need a few more power stars. You must help us. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game. 
And there we go. Yay! That was uh, one of the last remaining Grand Stars around, actually. But anyways, we're actually out of time right now. So this time around, we basically... Uh, we got we just got two stars. It's stars. Stars in Toy Time Galaxy. And uh, we defeated Bowser Jr. in that one area. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this part. And I shall see you guys on the next one.